welcome to this video on redox reactions, which is looking at oxidation and reduction. This video presumes that you know how to write half equations. So if you don't, there's a link at the top right hand side of this video. Click on that, watch that first before you continue with this. Okay, you may have come across oxidation and reduction before. You may realize that oxidation is adding oxygen to a reaction and reduction is the removal of oxygen. There is a second definition, however, and the one we're talking about today is in terms of electrons. What you've got to be able to do is tell me what happens in terms of electrons during electrolysis, and is that oxidation or reduction? Now to do that, there's an acronym I'd like you to remember, which is OIL RIG. OIL RIG stands for oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is gain of electrons. So if we have a look at the example that you've seen in a previous video where lead bromide is electrolyzed to form lead and bromine, at the cathode, Pb2 plus gains two electrons to become lead, and at the anode, your two bromide ions lose electrons to become Br2. So as you can see, in the cathode, we've got lead 2 plus, it has gained electrons, therefore reduction is gain, it has been reduced. At the anode, it is a lost electrons, it's on the right hand side, therefore oxidation is loss. So what you need to remember, if it's on the left hand side the electrons are, it's always gained, reduction is gained, so it's reduced. On the right hand side of the arrow, it's lost, therefore it's oxidized. Okay, let's have a look at a few questions then, see how you've done. Question one says, what is the definition for oxidation and reduction in terms of electrons? So you're not talking about adding and removing oxygen here. In terms of electrons, what is the difference? Remember, oil rig. Question two, you've been given two half equations. So it says, look at the following half equations. Explain whether oxidation or reduction is occurring for each. So you get one mark for saying whether it's oxidation or reduction and one mark for saying why. So look at your 2H plus, has it had electrons added or taken away? Same with the chlorine, added or taken away. Oil rig, so is it oxidized or reduced? And finally, a bit of a trickier one for you. Write the half equations. Again, if you need to recap that, I'll put the link in the top right hand corner. Write the half equation for this reaction. So you get two marks for that, and then two marks for telling me whether it's oxidation or reduction. So to explain what's happening there in terms of oxidation and reduction. Pause the video, have a go. We'll see how you've done in a few minutes. Okay, let's see how you've done. So if we start off with the definition, remember oil rig, therefore oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. One mark for either of those. You needed to be specific, so you needed to say oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. Don't just say one is loss, the other is gain of electrons. And you must put the word electrons in there as well. So loss of electrons for oxidation, gain of electrons for reduction. Question two, look at the following half equation. Explain whether oxidation or reduction is occurring for each. So you've got 2H plus plus 2E minus goes to H2. Your H plus ions have gained electrons to go back to H2. The 2E minus is on the left hand side. Therefore it's reduction. Reduction is gain of electrons. So one mark for saying reduction and then saying the hydrogen ions have gained electrons. Therefore for your chloride ions, they've gone back from a chloride having a full outer shell with eight electrons in the outer shell back to the chlorine atoms, the chlorine molecule, and they've lost two electrons, therefore it's oxidation. So one mark for oxidation, one mark for saying the chloride ions have lost electrons. On to question three, write the half equation for the following reaction. So if we start off at the cathode, that's your metal, your positive metal, you know you've got two chloride ions, that's Cl minus, two of those, therefore iron has got to be Fe2 plus. So it's Fe2 plus, how does it go back to iron? Add two electrons on. So it's Fe2 plus plus 2E minus goes to Fe. One mark for that. We've just covered it. You've added two electrons. It's gained, so it's reduction. Iron has had two electrons added to it. And then your anode, you've got your Cl minus. We've already talked about that in the previous question. It has therefore had to lose electrons to go back to it, which is oxidation. So your half equation is 2Cl minus goes to Cl2 plus 2E minus and it's oxidation because it's lost electrons. That's the last question on this video. There is a review question, which is look at the reaction below 
and the half equations use it to explain oxidation and reduction. So it's exactly the same as you've just been doing. Which one's been oxidized? Which one's been reduced? Say that first and then tell me in terms of electrons what's going on. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click on subscribe, visit the website, and have a look at the latest video. Thanks for watching.